In this video, Peter Parker experiences several of the symptoms that humans experience after being bit by a black widow spider. He experiences nausea, excessive sweating, and weakness. Unfortunately, in real life, being bit doesn't enhance vision, increase muscle mass, or provide web-slinging abilities. I know. Real bummer. Although many people know about the deadly deadliness of Black Widow Spider, not many people understand how the venom works. Our goal of this project is to educate peers on Black Widows themselves, toxicity of venom, and anti-venom treatment. Black Widows are a part of the phylum Arthropoda and the subphylum of Chelicerata. They are part of the Arachnida class. Chelicerae are the pincer-like appendages a black widow has in front of its mouth. Black widows are found in temperate areas, including North America, parts of Europe, Asia, Africa, and South America. They inhibit urban, forest, desert, and grassland. Black widows are known to live near people and tend to make webs in darker areas of buildings, inside or out. They eat each other or insects that they catch in their webs. Cannibalism is prevalent among black widows, mainly in the Latrodectus species in the southern hemisphere. Newly born black widows can sometimes prey upon their hatched siblings. Black widow spiders belong to the Latrodectus genus of spiders, which includes black and brown widow spiders. They are called widow spiders because the female spiders sometimes kill their mates soon after mating. The bites are feared, but not usually deadly. Out of a study of 20,000 exposures, only 1.4% were severe with no fatalities. Most of the exposures were categorized as mild envenomations. Black widow venom is known to be 15 times stronger than a rattlesnake's venom. Because size is an important factor, the venom is more risky to young and old people. The venom of black widow spiders paralyzes its prey including insects and spiders, by attacking the nervous system. Once the prey stops moving, it will release enzymes into its prey to start the eating process. Bites on humans can be very painful because of the toxin called alpha-latrotoxin. Alpha-latrotoxin overwhelms the nerve cells and results in swelling, nausea, profuse sweating, severe pain of the abdomen and back, hypertension, and possibly paralysis of the diaphragm. There is one anti-venom available, Lactrodactus mactans. Lactrodactus mactans works very quickly and takes approximately 30 minutes before pain subsides. It also works on all black widows. In a study published in the Journal of Medical Entomology from January 2021, the geographic distribution of black widow sp species in Canada and the U.S. were assessed and epidemiology of black widow spider envenomations and trends were analyzed to determine the utilization of antivenom. The study was conducted by obtaining antivenom request forms. The patient demographic and the number of vials used for treatment were recorded. Regional distribution maps were created to illustrate the distribution of black widow species using GIS software. In the Canadian collection area from January 2009 to December 2015, there were five black widow spider envenomations reported. The average number of vials used for treatment was two. It was not reported in the study if any fatalities had occurred or if there were any adverse reactions due to the use of antivenom. By comparison, the American Association of Poison Control Centers reported a 10-year average of 1,724 black widow spider envenomations annually from 2009 to 2018. The absolute number of envenomations requiring treatment of black widow spider antivenom is, extre is extremely small relative to the population size in both Canada and the U.S. Risk of severe symptoms increases with a low and high age. Critics agree that with low prevalence of adverse reactions, antivenom, when administered correctly, is safe and should be considered in cases of envenomation with symptoms. Applications of the study. Why does this matter? With Canada having limited data on envenomations of black widows, this can affect how regional or provincial levels respond to black widow envenomations. Being able to know the prevalence of black widow envenomations then allows regional and provincial areas to respond adequately as they will have more refined treatment plans as well as correct stock of antivenom. Ultimately, this will be benefit local communities and further develop people's understanding of where black widows reside in Canada. 